Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So a quick tip I really want to give you if you're really practicing any automation tool or for example, if it's Selenium, I would advise you to don't write the code directly into the framework. Let's say you have taken some framework from some YouTuber or any other trainer or in your company framework also. And what exactly I have seen the biggest problem with the people is that they directly try to jumping into the framework and they directly write the page object model and then just for a small scenario also they directly write a method and everything i would advise you if you really want to practice selenium or really want to automate a specific scenario in your web ui automation point of view you try to create a main method at least see that okay yeah this locator is working fine or not am i able to click on this particular button or am i able to enter the field or am i able to do a mouse over and all such things the XPath and other locators are working fine or not. And then there are multiple topics are there with respect to Selenium. For example, there are all core features, you know, send keys, dot click, actions classes, a drop down, file handling. There are so many things are there. I would advise you, you just go through all the Selenium sessions. For example, let's say you can create a project, a Maven project, and then you can start creating the project structure like that. And then you should have all these dot java classes for example error.java even util.java click drag and drop custom xpath css cross browser and then various examples you can do that web table login page move to element navigation concept no such element exception stale element exception and all such things you can do a practice how exactly it will help you let's you tomorrow you have an interview or you really want to revise a particular topic you can simply come over here and then you can check okay yeah what do you mean by frame handle what are different uh, methods and everything is available because every time you cannot watch the video you can refer these uh, you know whatever java files or code that you have created or the logic that you have developed for example let's see a drop down without select so this is the code that we have written and this is a simple logic that we have written how exactly it works how okay what kind of for loop and everything so you can quickly come and revise the topic so it will help you a lot if you are organizing and maintaining multiple files in a package structure or in different files structure that will help you a lot otherwise you are totally lost implementing the same thing in your uh, framework somewhere or designed a very good huge framework and then creating a class over there or creating a method inside the existing java class and then you are totally lost so that will help you a lot to revise the topic to learn the core features of the specific tool in and out about the specific tool it will help you a lot you will get the confidence also okay yeah this is the coverage of this particular tool that i have covered so i would always advise that whenever you are practicing for any automation tool for example selenium cypress or webdriver io or apm or whatever i think you should always create multiple feature wise classes feature wise files and then start doing the practice over there and later on obviously that everyone has to learn the framework and then uh, up, uh, apply the same thing in the framework as well because sometimes what happens let's say you're working on react application and then uh, there's been very complex scenario and then you really want to experiment that first so better you create a dummy project a dummy maven project or sample maven project in your eclipse or intellij and then try to write all the steps over there and then try to automate the specific scenario and then try to fit that specific thing in the form of generic method in your framework in the form of a login page or page object model design pattern that if you are using it do it in that way okay but before that please hangs on with uh, with the specific steps and everything inside the main method and then you go for it other than that it will help you a lot also in terms of maintaining the number of java files number of python files if you're using python or javascript or whatever to revise the topic as well and it will give you the confidence as well okay like that in fact at a time of interview also you can quickly refer this code if you really want to share your screen and you can show something like that also you can show that okay these are the practices that i have done like that and you can maintain all these things in your git repositories wherever let's you don't have any access on your eclipse right now you just open your github and then check all the java codes over there and then you are good to go so i always advise to my students that please maintain three four things first of all for example let's say selenium sessions then framework but let's see the page object model design pattern or with a data driven approach or hybrid approach that you are using it and then your java sessions also for example only for java topics see builder pattern exception handling finalized method java sessions also we have so many things lombok object oriented abstract encapsulation inheritance interfaces sub packages super keyword just maintain all these different packages and try to write the examples over there that will help you a lot so at least three uh, folders you should have one is for java i mean three pack uh, project you should have one is for java 
one is for framework and one is for your selenium sessions or you can create one is for a test ng also that also you can do that so that is the quick video that i really want to share with you guys i hope it's clear and you agree with that if you really have any other opinion or any other suggestions to other candidates as well please feel free to write in the comment section definitely i'll try to look into it thank you so much thanks for watching navin automation labs i'll see you in the next video till then take care and god bless you all